Hi, Clint Coons here with Anderson Business Advisors. And in this video, we are going to discuss buying real estate at auction. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's say you want to get into the auction game and you want to go to the steps and you want to go down there and bid with everybody else and, and put in your hat into the ring and buy those properties. Well, definitely there's people that make money at that. I have multiple clients that buy real estate at auction and they make a killing at, at that type of investing. But the question is, how do you take title to those properties? Because when you win a deal, where are you going to take title? Is it gonna be in your name? Is it gonna be in a corporation? Is it gonna be in a limited liability company? Well, my philosophy is always this. You wanna be able to take title in a entity that allows you the maximum flexibility so you can do something with it after the fact without having to have another deed transfer. So first off, you have to figure out what your investing goal is with these properties you're buying. Is it you wanna flip? Do you wanna hold the properties long-term? And then once you got that down, then you'll know where you wanna put it. But in order to do that, you have to set it up the right way so that it's easily transferable. So what I typically recommend, if you're gonna be an auction buyer, you buy property in the name of a trust. In a land trust is what I would use uh, when I'm buying properties at auction. In fact, you create the trust right then and there. Now, if you're one of a, a, an Anderson client, we've created land trust for you and you've looked at our land trust and you say, wow, this is 40 pages long. You mean to tell me I need to take 40 pages with me down to auction? And if I wanna you know, possibly bid on seven properties, well, then I have to have seven different folders of 40 pages each. That's a lot of work. That's a lot to carry. No, I get it. I wouldn't wanna do that either. So here's what I do. I tell people, to set up a simple trust. We have this one page trust agreement we use for auction buyers. It's a simple little land trust. It doesn't have everything you need in there, you should have in there, but we can fix that later. So you go down there with this one page trust agreement because in order to take title on the trust, the trust has to be in existence. So you have this document and it's not even filled out yet. You're bidding on a piece of property and you win the auction. Now, what name do you want to take title in? Well, let's assume the property, the address to the property is 8th, uh, 8th and Main. All right, it's 8th and Main. So I would call it the 8th and Main Trust is what I would say. I'd say, oh, I wanna take title on 8th and Main Trust. All right, so if you wanna take title on the 8th and Main Trust, then what you're gonna to need to do is set up your land trust right then and there. So you got your trust agreement right here, my land trust agreement, this one page agreement. What do we need to have in order to create this trust? We have to have a grantor. We have to have a trustee because that name is going to go on title and we have to have a beneficiary of this trust. And so that is, and we have to have the date. All right. The date's going to go on there as well. So those are four pieces of information in addition to the name that you're able to come up with because you've gone down here prepared to fill these things out. In fact, I tell people many times, pre-fill them out. Just don't date them, don't sign them, and don't put a name on there. So in this particular trust, my grantor is gonna be me, because I'm the one setting it up. My trustee is going to be my Wyoming LLC, okay? Because I do not want my name associated with this property. I want anonymity for it, so I'm gonna use my Wyoming LLC. The beneficiary, is going to be me, and the date is gonna be the date that I create the trust. So here's what we do here. If we're gonna do the eighth and main trust, we'll call it eighth and main, right up here. Uh, trustee's gonna go in here, grantor's name's gonna go here, beneficiary's name's gonna go here, date's gonna go up there, and then I'm gonna sign it down here as the beneficiary, and I'm gonna sign it down here as a trustee, and then title would be issued to this land trust, this one page document, it's all we needed to create the trust. Now I've created a title holding vehicle. So it's held in this trust name. It's a title holding vehicle, which means this, my trust allows me to assign my beneficial interest. And so this is where the creativity comes in that gives you the flexibility. Let's assume that I, I want to hold the property. It's gonna be a rental property. Well, then I will go out and create an LLC over here. If you watch my other video about how to name your land trust, I'm gonna call this one the 8th and Main LLC because it's gonna match the same name as my trust. And then I'm gonna assign my trust over to this limited liability company. So that's what I'm gonna to do to get that property, that trust held in that LLC. 
Step number two. Remember this one page trust agreement? That's crap. We're not going to stick with that. We can't stick with that. We need to get a better, stronger trust agreement for ourselves. So we then turn around and I restate it. I restate the trust. And what I mean by restating, you just create a new trust with all the same information, but all the provisions you wanted in that 40 page agreement with the restatement. So now you got the better protections that come from a land trust. So you move away from this with the restated trust held by your LLC. Now, if you wanna flip the property, well, we're not flipping in that LLC, that's the buy and hold structure. If I'm flipping, then I'm gonna move it over here to a separate LLC, my flip LLC, that should be owned by my corp right over here. So it's gonna go here. And again, I'll do the exact same process, restate the trust. So when you're buying an auction, what I would suggest you do is get this one page trust agreement, go to auction with a whole stack of them, and then make sure you have your Wyoming LLC set up. The trust the agreement is pre-filled out. The only thing you haven't put in there is a trust name, the date, and signed it. And then if you obtain the property, you win the property, complete the process, fill it out, take title on that name, and then move it to the appropriate entity. Benefit is no deeds have to be filed. The only deed that gets recorded is into the name of your trust and nobody knows where that trust goes from then on because nothing shows up on the public record. The only thing that'll show up is it went from the auction to you, for, to your trust, and that's not tied to you because we have our Wyoming LLC serving as our blocker trustee to keep our information private. There's a lot of ways you, other ways you can do this as well. Sometimes when you're going to auction, they may not allow you to use trust. If you have to close in a business entity, then I would set up an LLC and I try to close in, in the limited liability company. Uh, maybe go down there, have a couple LLCs set up for, so uh, you know if you get two or three properties, you have two or three different LLC names available that you've set up already so you can close directly in those LLCs. Uh, other ways we've done this before is if you live in a state that recognizes the series LLC, then close in the name of a cell instead. So, but the land trust, what I've found is the quickest, easiest way for people who buy at auction to take title, not have their name appear and give them maximum flexibility. Hey guys, if you liked the video, make sure you, you hit me up on the likes. Got any comments, put those comments below. Be sure to respond to them. And I wish you all the very best with your real estate investing.